Okay, guys, we're going to look at some plectrum, some picks. In the past, when I used to play with this guy, we used to. He had very long fingernails, and he would drown me out when he was playing. We both used to use our thumbs and fingers. Uh, we didn't use picks, but I couldn't hear myself because he was so loud. Um, and I'd spent the first probably 55 years of my life biting these and didn't have any nails. <laughs> so I'm all right now. Um, but yeah, so I tried to use picks. I was using those picks that they use that cover all your fingers, uh, little hooky bits on them. I don't know what they're called, probably for banjos and things. But yeah, I couldn't get on with them. Um, and I've used all different types. And I've only got a few different types over here now because what's the point? I found a pick that works for me and we're red again, aren't I? Uh, this works for me and I'm going to show you why. Anyway, let's explain a few of these first. Okay guys, on a, a video I did recently there was a, an offer I made to people and within that offer I did say I would give you two picks, these Landstrom picks that, uh, that I've used for probably 30 years now. Um, in the past I've used Gibson, I've used Dunlop, Martin, another Gibson there. I've never been able to get on with them. I've never been able to hold a pick properly. I've always struggled. Um, especially with the small ones, I just can't, I just can't get it. But that's just me. And so I've got a thick bike going up the road. I've got thick ones, all sorts. Uh, that Dunlop was quite well. No, I pointed that one. But yeah, I just, I just could not get on with them until I found these, these shark fins. That black one is so rigid, it's almost like having a coin in your hand. Couldn't get on with that. This red one, a bit worn out now, I used this for quite some time, had a bit of flex in it, and probably these white ones are slightly stiffer, and I do use them occasionally, but the tried and tested one for me are these red soft ones, and when I say soft, these are very flexible flexible and soft but they do me just fine that's the current one I'm using I'm telling I'm using that one because it's got teeth marks in it so yeah that's the one I'm using at the minute and it does a great job now it's got three sides to it pointed one there that side there is a bit more like a standard pick and this side here with the rakish edge. And now I'm going to give you a demonstration on all three sides. Okay, this is why I like the shark thin. I normally use this end here on the really flexible one. <clears throat> um, let's just play the same tune over and over and we can probably hear the difference. Okay, if I use the thicker side, it should be a slightly deeper sound. Now, if we use a serrated edge, it should be totally different. A lot fuller sound because it's... One string's hitting, and then another one, then another one. So it's a lot full of sound. This is why I love these picks. Shark fin, Landstrom design. So, if you're out there, Landstrom, and want to send me some picks, I like the red flexi ones. Thank you very much. <laughs> My email. You can find it, I'll leave it on here.
Right. That's about it, really. That's you know that's why I like them. And I say I haven't used picks really for the first ten years of my playing, and I probably don't hold them properly. I yeah. No, I probably don't hold a pick properly, but like most people would. But I hold it the way I want to, and I think that's the most important thing. You do it the way you want to, the way that feels comfortable, and you adapt to your own style. And what I nearly forgot about these is when your fingers are working properly, you can just get hold of this and hold it in your finger. So you don't have to play it. You can just put it like that in your finger, and it's there for when you need it. So you can be picking. And then drop it down to play. That's if you've got fingers at work. But yeah, but it's really handy to have that that option. Anyway, that's my little take on picks. If you've enjoyed it, you know what to do. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.